Hey guys, Pokemon Rocks 12 here, and um, just as I started to do episode 4, I was heading back to Viridian City just because of, um, well, I forgot the battle of Rival Gary, so, and in the grass I encountered Pidgeotto, and I said I was going to catch one if I saw it, so, yeah, here's me catching it because I actually want one for my, you know, permanent team member because Pidgeotto is awesome. Good, good physical attacker and special attacker too, and it has some pretty nice defenses. So, um, yeah, I'm really psyched that I got to actually encounter one because I really wanted one to use on the team. So, uh, another little piece of information that I gathered as I was uploading the past three episodes, it said that I could upload videos that are 15 minutes long now. So I was like, yes, because now I can get more done in episodes and. Um, have a lot more in videos, and, uh, I, I can get a lot more done, basically, I can get this walkthrough done faster, or whatever, playthrough, or whatever, I, I just wanted to play over the game, and I just thought I would share the experience with you guys, because I love you. Oh. alright, Pokeball, go, yeah, just like Ash in the second episode, yeah, fully paralyzed, you better be fully paralyzed, Come on, come on. Damn. This is ridiculous. Uh, Alright, well, there's a dead Pikachu. Good job, Pikachu. Drop dead. Um, Let's go in the Metapod. Metapod. Metapod, Metapod, Metapod. Alright, I'm scared of dying, so I'm going to harden. Because <laughs> it's just Metapod now. And that would suck if Metapod just died against us. I'm just going to tackle and see what Metapod can do against it. Alright, Metapod's getting some good hits in. Good job, Metapod. You could actually take a hit on, like, Pikachu. Ah, oh, damn, more sand attacks. Alright. With only three Pokeballs left, I gotta be careful. Come on, come on, please. Damn! I really want this. If I don't get it, I'm gonna cry. Well, not cry, but I'll be pretty mad. Yes, 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 yes. Tackle, damn it. Come on, you noob with the stand attack. This whole episode is just going to be trying to catch this damn Pidgeotto. Alright. Now I got it in the red zone, so... Pokeball go. Gotcha! Yes! Alright, I'm so psyched about this because I really want a Pidgeotto. Um, bird Pokemon. Yeah. Alright, I'm not nicknaming either, so... Pikachu drop dead. So now let's head back to uh Viridian City. We'll finish the rest of Viridian Forest in this episode too. Just I wanna get um wanna take on Gary. He's not that much of a threat now that we're higher leveled. Cause you know, we're we're a force now. We we got a team going. It's not just Pikachu anymore, like it's us, the team, the single entity. Like he, there's no way he's gonna be able to stop us. Uh, so slow. Come on, walk faster. All right. Well, we need your Pokemon. Do 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 do. Thank you, Nurse Joy, and you badly animated sprite of Chansey. All right. Let, let's see how Pikachu feels about dying. Oh, you're happy. You must have been suicidal. All right. Level eight. Level eight. Level. Alright, I'm gonna do what I always do and just keep, uh, Metapod first then, because Metapod really needed to evolve, like, pronto into Butterfree. Uh, don't encounter anything nice. Here we go. Here's this jerk. Hey, you loser. Hey, Anthony, you're going to Pokemon League? Forget it, you probably don't have any badges. The god won't let you through. But... Is your Pokemon gotten any stronger? Nah, 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 do, do, do. Alright, uh, I turned out Sparrow, so he has a Sparrow now, and, uh, yeah, it's level 9, so, obviously, I'm not good against, my Metapod isn't good against Sparrow, so I'm gonna return, and go into my Pikachu, and then I get packed, but Pikachu's resistant, and that still did quite a lot for a resistant hit, so that's just... That's terrible, Pikachu. You're pretty bad. So I want a Thunder Shock, and that does more than half. Luckily, but you couldn't even easily want to KO this thing, Pikachu. You, you suck. Um, 
Thundershock again. There we go. Get that Thundershock. <sighs> Metapod. Alright, they got a good bit. Now let me go into a uh, Metapod again. Metapod, 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 Metapod. Alright, what I'm going to do is, is I'm going to set up, set this up for uh, Pidgeotto when Pidgeotto comes out. I'm going to string shot it, right? So Pidgeotto is guaranteed to be faster. So, here comes um, Pidgeotto. And, yeah, it's a tail weapon, but it failed, so I'm going to go for the gust. Because Pidgeotto does that. Pidgeotto can flap its wings and make gust tackle. Alright, that's 6 HP. That's not that bad. That wasn't that heavy of a hit. Another 6 HP. Here comes another tail whip. Oh, dang, that's not good. Uh, gust. Dang. Alright, that's... Alright, yeah, you lost. <laughs> Basically, you just lost. So, Pidgeotto, in its debut battle, you know, did a pretty good job. And now Metapod's level 9, so... There we go, Metapod. Way to... Level yourself up. Uh, what else? Can... All right, I heard Pokemon League has many tough trainers. I had to figure out how to get past them. You should quit dot dawdling. What? And get a move on. What a choice of words, Gary Oak. What a choice. Where'd he go? I can still catch up to him now. He disappeared. He walked into another dimension. And for some reason, Pokemon and that patch of grass don't want to battle me. Don't know why. Oh well. So let's go visit the Pokemon Center one more time. And, uh. Pokemon Center. Yeah, you'll hope to see me a lot more times because, you know, with Pikachu on my team, she's constantly dying. You'll, you'll see me like a couple hundred more times before this playthrough is over. <laughs> so, with Pidgeotto on the team and Metapod becoming a Butterfree, once I get Butterfree, Brock should be no problem. I'm not sure if I'm going to keep Butterfree as a permanent team member, but I want I want a, I want want Pidgeotto as a permanent team member, because I always like to use a flying type. And the three starters, probably, too, so that'll be pretty cool. I'm going to use the three starters. I'll be like Ash. I'll be like Ash Ketchum himself. I really don't feel like using Pikachu for some reason, but, you know, it's yellow version. I'm not going to take it off the team. That'd be really, that'd be really, really weird, playing yellow without Pikachu on your team. Like, I, I just replaced it for a Magnemite or a Voltorb or something. That'd be pretty sick, actually. I'd like that. Hmm. Maybe. Nah. <laughs> just kidding. I'll use Pikachu. All right. It's another wild encounter. It's a Pidgey. Level 4. Is this thing even worth taking out? Is it worth my valuable time? Oh well. It's experience. Go Pikachu. Pidgey used Gust. Gust attack. Alright, use Thundershock. Good job taking out them level 4 Pidgeys. Way to go. And here's the trainer. I'm going to be the best. You just can't beat me. Okay. We'll see. It would be funny if this little kid actually, like, made a player faint and black out and go back to the Pokemon Center. That would suck. She ain't hers from my Metapod. I'm going to go into Pikachu because I want Pikachu to be at level 10. Because I always like my starter being the higher level because, you know, it is your starter. Uh, Thundershock. Thunder's Hawk. If you break it up like that, that's pretty cool. Thunder's Hawk. Oh, way to get crit, you noob. Noob getting crits on me. You noob. Oh, I got a crit back. Alright, I guess I'm the noob. But you know what? You're a CPU. You don't have feelings. So, how's it feel to not have feelings, you CPU? You computer player, you and your Metapod. And your level 8 carrot B that should have been a Metapod. Oh dang, this is epic. Harden. Metapod is immense. Harden, here we go. This is the battle. This is the battle everyone's been waiting for. The Harden battle. We'll see which one of us faints from exhaustion. Wait, you know what? I don't have all day. Go Pikachu. Harden. 
hard in thunder shock. Uh, it's trying to slow me down. This metapod is actually not the one that the CPU's been catching the wild. This is actually like, I think the trainer might have actually evolved his Caterpie into this. So, keep up with that thunder shock. Uh, Pikachu's level 10. Yay! Yay for level 10 Pikachu. Only 90 more levels for your level 100. Alright, let's make Pikachu last in the party now. Now I'm probably going to be switching into Pidgeotto, depending on the situation. Alright, let's kill this Caterpie. With my Pidgeotto-ness. Caterpie, you know what? Alright, let's continue our hike through the Viridian Forest. And another Pokemon gets in our way. Caterpie. Level 6. That's pretty high. That's the level I caught mine at. Uh... Let's go into the Pidgeotto. Because Pidgeotto knows the answer to everything. Gust! Oh, it has a string shot me and make me slower than it. That's so annoying. When a bird is obviously so much faster than a worm, like. Oh, but no, I got some string on my wings. That's really gonna slow me down with the stickiness and whatnot. I didn't even get any good experience from that, actually. I shouldn't have even did that at all. If I run into another wild Pidgeotto, that'd be some good experience, actually, if I actually fight that. There's a Pidgey. Pidgey's get good experience. Uh, this one's level 4. I'm not fighting it. <laughs> level 4 Pidgey. Maybe if it was a level 8 one. Uh, there's an antidote. No, we got the antidote already. We got the Pokeball, the potion. Oh, no, here's the potion. Shut up, Pikachu. Alrighty. And this is the last trainer of the Viridian Forest with his, um, I think he's got the level 10 Caterpie. That could have been a barter free by now, but you know, it just isn't because this guy's a noob. It doesn't evolve his Pokemon. People in this game, and they're not believing in Pokemon. Like, they just don't believe in evolving. I don't know what their problem is. There's something wrong with them, man. They're like, they're sick. They're on some kind of drugs. Gust attack. I always like to catch Pidgeotto. I never like. I don't think I've ever played this game and actually trained a Pidgey to level like 17 or 18 whenever it's supposed to evolve. Like I'll waste a half hour chilling in the Viridian Forest and I actually find one in the wild and use that. Cause number one, it's a lot stronger. Number two, that that's how Ash did it. So gotta do things like Ash catch him. Gust. Keep on, keep up that gust. Alright, I just took out a level 10 worm. Alright, Pidgeotto is level 10 now, but Metapod is still level 9. Ah, oh, man, we're gonna have to, uh... Let's see how much more away Metapod is from ev evolution. 18. That's like one battle.
Alright, uh, one battle away from evolution. And here's a metapod. Let's kill this metapod. I'm gonna go into my Pikachu, because Pikachu is the metapod killer. Harden. Thunder Shock. Come on, just kill it. I just wanna end this. Oh my god. And you get the Power Hex on a Pokemon that you don't, you didn't need to get the Power Hex on. Ah, oh, Pikachu, you're so worthless. Metapod gained 20 experience points. Two more than he, he got two more than he needed. And here it is, the evolution of Metapod into Butterfree. Do, 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 do,